Hey YouTube, it's Amy. I just wanted to do a really quick update. I'm having a rough day. Um, really struggling with emotional eating. Um, as you guys know, I have a, a lot on my plate this month. Um, my dad goes in um, and starts his chemo and stem cell transplant uh, next week. Uh, Tuesday he goes in for his first, uh, she has to get four shots of chemo before they take the stem cells out of him. Just really, really light shots that's supposed to expand his bones. Um, and on Wednesday I'm taking him um, for an eight hour surgery. Mm -hmm. They're putting a catheter in his heart that will be in there for the next two months. Um, and then Thursday, my in-laws are coming in. Um, not, not prepared, really. I'm going to be uh, too busy running around um, helping with my parents to even really want to deal with them being here. Um, and it's it's pretty crazy around here already. I have my two kids, uh, eight and ten. My daughter has autism. I have two cats, and I'm gonna have uh, my in-laws and my brother-in-law, who is severely autistic and OCD. It's gonna be craziness in my house. And then I'm supposed to have an eight-year-old birthday party. On Sunday, my son is turning eight, and I don't want to take away from that, but um, I have a lot on my plate. Then Monday, my dad um, will be doing his, um, taking out the stem cells, which he has to be hooked up to a machine for four to six hours, and he needs to be taken to the doctor's. I'm a half an hour from my parents' house, and then the, the hospital is an hour away, so I have an hour and a half of travel each way. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to drive home and then go back after four hours, if it's, there's even a point in doing that. I, I don't know. My mind is just going a thousand places. I'm still not completely sure if this treatment is the best thing for my dad to do. Um, it's really, really scary. Even with having these treatments, um, the statistics are still very fuzzy um, as to if it's going to work, if it's going to make him worse because the chemo could damage his other organs. Uh, as to how soon it's going to come back. I'm just scared. I only have one brother, um, and he is in Denver, and he can't get down here until June. So it's all on me. I am trying to uh, take a little time for me. I am still working out every day. I do have that challenge, uh, 56 days of working out till I get to the meet and greet, which that's another story. My dad really wants me to go, um, but he's still going to be in the hospital, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure if I'm going to feel guilty about being there, enjoying myself, and partying up in Vegas, and my dad is still in the hospital. Um, and my mom is kind of trapped in her house because she doesn't drive. And I'm going to leave that on my husband to take care of my two kids, himself, his school. <sighs> and look after my mom. Yeah, it's a lot. I've been eating Easter candy today. I'm still, yeah, I don't know, nine pounds under my goal weight and working out every day. I did go run this morning. I've been doing my body pump, but I want to satisfy that, that, that sick to my stomach feeling with candy or popcorn. 
And the Easter baskets are here. I will be doing a yogurt day tomorrow because I can focus on that and I know that all I can have is yogurt all day so I won't um, detour from that but I'm really not sure how next week's gonna go. I love you guys. Bye.